<laughs> Do you see what's going on in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital? This is insane. It, I don't know what, i never seen this in my lifetime, my 49 years of living. And to see this display of entitlement and behavior and animosity and anger, frustration, I'm like, where did these people come from? I don't know, <laughs> they, their parents didn't do no home training or something. You know, you don't win them all. I was an athlete. We didn't win every game we played, you know. Some games I felt the referees cheated, but guess what? Hey, we got to pick our pads up, pick our helmet up, and get on the bus and go home. That's life. If you can't accept defeat, you probably shouldn't be living on earth because unless you think everything's going to be handed to you, and for some people, some things have been handed to you, and I think that's part of the problem with this country. Those people that things been handed to, when they all of a sudden, whether it's O.J. Simpson or Donald Trump, when somebody smack it out your hand and take it from you, all of a sudden now you're mad at the world. You want to make everybody else mad. I wasn't going to speak on this, but when I started seeing, again, I have family members that are in law enforcement. And so I'm very, so I have a, a spot in my heart for law enforcement, and, and I know what they go through. There are some bad ones out there. There are some good ones. But I'm going to tell you, there's that, what, what we see being displayed in D.C., I hope that does not start happening throughout our country where people just can't say, you know what? Hey, we didn't win this one. We're going to try the next one. We didn't win this one, but we're going to try the next one. And you're going to learn something in the process about yourself. I'm learning a lot about our country right now when things don't go the way some people think they should go. And, for, and for some guy just telling the cop, you, we had your back and you ain't got ours. And uh, what is that all about? And I heard some gentleman TV the other day, well, this was a, a local race in Dallas. And, well, they've had their chance. It's our chance now. Like, who, we're all Americans. We're in this together. And I think that's the problem. People don't understand we're in this together. Until we start acting and treating each other, each other as such, we're going to continue to see this nonsense and idiots running around with these titles and these other stuff that's just dividing people. So we got to figure out a way to come together under one roof, whether the person you want in the office or not. I served over 30, uh, 29 years. It didn't matter who the president was. I still had a job to do. It didn't freaking matter. It didn't matter to the guy to my left. What is? We had to go two combat tours, three years in career. It didn't matter to the guy to my left or right. We had a job to do. And our Congress has a job to do. And we as American citizens don't need to hamstring them. Now, if you don't, now if you don't like who you have running for office in the seat, go run for it yourself. It's easy. Unless you're a felon and got a high crime. Because according to the Constitution, you can't run. You got a high crime committed against you. And um, yeah. Oh, and with that being said, I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to see Merrick Garland, who I think uh, Biden's going to put in place there as an AG. Is he going to come out to Mr. Ken Patton, the AG in Texas with the indictment and all the other stuff he has going on? Anyway, that's for another, another uh, taping. But I'm just a little disappointed to watch. Uh, I, I don't want to say sore losers, losers, but hey, you don't win them all. You don't win them all. You're going to lose some. But the only way you're going to, and sometimes you're going to get better with the loss. You're only going to get better with the loss. So sometimes losing, you're not really a loss. It's experience and you learn from it. I'm learning a lot about our country this day and time. And I hope we learn a lot about ourselves and the people next to us. Hey, stay safe. Help somebody if you can. If not, it's okay. Shake your hand up and keep moving. Hey, have a great day. See y'all later.